The electricity sector in Denmark relies on fossil energy and renewable energy, wind power, biogas, biomass and waste. Danish average consumption of electricity per person was 0.8 MWh less than EU15 average in 2008. Denmark has average electricity costs including costs for cleaner energy in EU, but general taxes increase the price to the highest in Europe. In 2015, supply security was over 99.99%, among the highest in the world. Denmark invested in the wind power development in the 1970s and has had the highest wind share in the world ever since. Wind produced the equivalent of 42% of Denmark's total electricity consumption in 2015. Danish consumption of wind turbine generated electricity is the highest in the world per person, 1,218 kWh in 2009. Denmark produced more wind power per person in Denmark in 2009 than either Spain or the UK produced nuclear power per person in their respective countries. The Danish electricity market is a part of the Nord Pool Spot Power Exchange. Topic gross electricity consumption and production in GWH with renewables share Topic Consumption According to Nordal Annual Statistics Denmark's total electricity consumption totaled 36,392 GWh in 2006. Consumption increased about 3% in the period from 2001 to 2006 in the same time frame Sweden saw a 3% reduction, Norway a 2% reduction and Finland a 10% increase. As of 2009 Danish consumption of wind-generated electricity topped the world per person, 1,218 kWh. The renewable electricity sources may give some protection against high annual changes. Electricity consumption fell in Denmark only 4% in the 2009–2008 recession while falling 7.1% in Sweden, 7.9% in Finland and 8.6% in the UK. In Iceland consumption fell only 0.9%. Danish average consumption of electricity per person was 0.8 MWh less than the EU15 average of 7.4 MWh in 2008. In 2014, Danish industry paid around 32 or per kilowatt hour for the electricity cost, about EU average. Denmark has mediocre electricity costs including consumer paid incentives paseo, costs for cleaner energy in EU, but taxes increase the consumer price to the highest in Europe at around 0.304 euros slash kwh. Paseo is used for wind, biomass, solar, and district heating. Total Paseo was 5.8 billion Danish kroner in 2013, of which 3.2 billion Danish kroner went to wind power. In 2015, the cost of power was only 32% of the price, while Paseo was 9%, and tolls and VAT the remaining 59%. As new data centers come online, EnergyNet.dk expects consumption to increase by 3.8 terawatt-hours in 2023 and by 13 terawatt-hours in 2040, compared to 2015. Due to exchange with other countries, Danish consumption of electricity is different from its production. The environment declaration shows how the physical power is composed of different fuel sources. The general declaration differs due to trade with green certificates, and does not show actual composition. Due to more wind in Denmark and more precipitation in Norway and Sweden, Danish electricity went from 1,216 kg CO2 per household in 2014 to 808 kg in 2015 182 grams per kilowatt hour in 2014. 58% came from wind, water and sun, 19% from coal and lignite, and 4% from nuclear. Topic Production Topic Mode of Production The total installed power capacity was 12.5 gigawatts in 2001 and in the end of 2006 12.7 gigawatts including 9.5 gigawatts from natural gas, coal and oil and 3.1 gigawatts wind power. Denmark has almost no hydropower, and no pumped storage. 
Denmark had the sixth best energy security in the world in 2014, although this includes non electrical energy. Current power system data are provided by Energynet.dk and EMD. Topic: Power stations. Topic: Producers. Main power producing companies operating in the Danish market are Dong Energy and Vattenfall. The current market structure was designed in 2003 to 2006 by a number of mergers and transactions. In January 2003, Dong acquires a 64% share in the regional power company Energigruppen Jutland, which owned 3.1% of the electricity producer Elsom. At the same year Elsom acquired 78.8% of retail sales operator Nessa and later took a full control of the company. At the same time, Nessa owned 36% in other electricity producer Energy E2. In 2004, Energigruppen Jutland increased its stake in Elsom to 24% and on 10 December 2004 Dong and Elsom announce announced their planned merger. Dong increased its stake in Elsom to 64.7% while Swedish power producer Vattenfall had acquired a blocking stake of 35.3%. In 2005, Dong purchased municipal utilities Kobenhauens Energy and Frederiksberg Forsyning, including their 34% and 2.26% stakes in Energy E2. In May 2005, Dong and Vattenfall agreed split of assets in Elsom and Energy E2. Vattenfall received Amar Power Station, FYN Power Station, Nordjutland Power Station, two decentralized gas fired plants in Zeeland, a portfolio of Danish and international wind activities, and a 30% stake in a German wind development for exchange of Vattenfall's 35% stake in Elsom and 40% stake in the Avador 2 power station. The agreement and merger of Dong, Elsom, Nessa, Kobenhauens Energy, and Frederiksberg Forsyning to form Dong Energy was approved by the European Commission in 2006 and consequently came into force on 2 July 2006. Due to a reduction in Paseo money, combined heat and power plants receive an estimated 2.5 billion Danish kroner less in 2019. Competition The Danish Council decided that the Danish producer Elsom now Dong abused its dominant position in Denmark to raise prices in the period 2003–2006. Power outlet 230 volts 50 hertz single phase and 400 volts 50 hertz three phase topic transmission Denmark has two separated transmission systems of which the eastern one is synchronous with Nordic former NORDEL and the western one with the synchronous grid of continental Europe the 600 MW Great Belt Power Link connecting the two systems was commissioned only in July 2010, started commercial operations in August 2010, and was inaugurated on 7 September 2010. The Little Belt cables are 400 kV AC at 1,100 MW and replaced overhead wires in 2013. The Danish transmission system is owned and operated by Energynet.dk. Energynet.dk was created by a merger of power grid operators Eltra, Elcraft System and Elcraft Transmission, and by natural gas transmission system operator Gastra. The merger took place on 24 August 2005 with retrospective effect from 1 January 2005. Eltra and Elcraft were communally owned by the respective region's distribution companies. The high voltage transmission assets were transferred to the Danish state and later to Energynet.dk at no cost. As of 2014, nearly all low voltage several cables using direct current connect the two Danish systems to neighboring countries. The western Danish power grid is connected to Norway with 1700 MW and Sweden with 740 MW Conti -scan. East Denmark is connected to Germany with 600 MW 
Larger alternating current connections also exist, 1,780 MW export from Jutland to Germany, and 1,700 MW from Zealand to Sweden. The 700 MW is planned to connect Jutland and the Netherlands, the 1,400 MW Viking link is planned to connect Jutland and England while a second 400 kV AC line is planned to connect Jutland and Germany. A 400 MW cable is planned to connect Zealand to Germany via the Kriegers Flak offshore wind farm. Total export and import capacities were 2,510 MW and 2,870 MW respectively in 2007. The actual import and export capacities were typically 60% of the nominal capacities. Studies showed inefficient markets in 2006. In 2014, Denmark had an electricity interconnection level transmission capacity relative to production capacity of 44%, compared to Slovakia at 61% and Hungary at 29%. See also Energy in Denmark Wind power in Denmark Solar power in Denmark Governance of hydropower in Scandinavia Nordic energy market Renewable energy in Denmark